Hello everyone, welcome to Kantai Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the bean stitch. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. I'm doing on today, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. I appreciate you all. So today we're going to learn how to work, make the bean stitch. And you can use this with any size hook or any size yarn that you want. I just have a, I don't know if this is like a category four thick. I don't know what you would want to call it. And I have a six millimeter hook or chain. And we need to start off with an uneven number of stitches. Well, we're going to start off with an even number of stitches. And the final stitch will be our turning stitch. So let's go ahead and turning chain, I mean. So let's go ahead and start. We're gonna start with our slip knot and you make yours how you make yours. And for my beginners, I do have a absolute beginners tutorial where you can learn how to slip knot, chain, and all the basic stitches to know how to, um, to learn how to crochet. So let's begin. We're going to chain an even number of chains. You can do as many as you want. I'm going to do a good long one. I'll make this 21 chains and let's get started. So go ahead and make your chains. And when I come back, I'm going to have my 21 chains. Okay, so I have my 20 chains here. And I'm going to skip that first stitch that is our turning chain and I'm going to make a foundation row of single crochets you don't have to do this you can immediately start your stitch um, begin working your stitch in these chains here if you want to do that I just like to have another foundation another row of whether it's a single crochet or half double crochet but if you want to start in your chain start working the stitch in your chain you can go ahead and skip forward to the next um, the next area and I will be back with 20 oops, single crochets okay so I'm back and now I'm at the end of the row and we're just gonna make a chain one chain and we're going to go into the first stitch with a single crochet. Now you're going to skip <clears throat> the next stitch and then go right into the next stitch with your hook. Now we're gonna loop and yarn over several times. So go ahead and make your first yarn over and you'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over again, this counts as three this counts as a loop, so that's three. Go back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. That will give you four loops on your hook. Now one more time, go ahead and yarn over. That's five. Go into the stitch again, yarn over and pull up a loop. And that gives you six loops on your hook five six and then yarn over again make sure this is good and loose so that when you yarn over you can pull through everything without being too tight at the end so go ahead and yarn over and pull through all of your loops make sure you are twisting your loops sometimes you have to wiggle 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 <laughs> but not all the time and go ahead through and yarn over and chain and that's to finish off that stitch so now you just continue on skip that next stitch go into the next stitch with another stitch <laughs> and yarn over and pull up a loop make sure your yarn is nice and loose not too tight yarn over again go back into the same stitch yarn over and pull up a loop that's four loops on your hook Yarn over and oops, sorry. <laughs> See, I did that wrong. Okay, you probably uh, let me try that again. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and then one final time, yarn over and pull up a loop. 
and now you have six loops on your hook okay now yarn over and go through all your loops See, the, when I did it wrong it did it so nice and smooth but now it wants that crazy so go ahead and twist it you know make sure it gets through and go ahead and chain one now go ahead and continue with the next stitch skip one go into the next one and make that stitch so you're going to go ahead and make the stitch all the way across this is your bean stitch that's what they call it the bean stitch and keep doing that across and i am going to meet you uh, that was a smooth one and i'm going to meet you when i get closer to the end when you get closer right here that that stitch number 18 so i'll meet you back there okay so i'm back now we're going to skip this stitch we're going to make one more bean stitch before we get to the end so skip and then go into your next stitch and make your bean stitch remember you go into that loop three times into that stitch three times so that's the second time on your second loops you should have four and then yarn over that's five go into that stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and that's six loops on your hook and then yarn over and go ahead and pull through all six of your loops and chain and now in that very last loop we just add a single crochet so the way that I made my pattern was so I made it oops I made it so that I have a single crochet in the beginning and I have a single crochet at the end you don't have to do that if you want if you don't want to you can start let me turn it so we can see the other side but you can start off with your stitch with your uh, stitch here um, instead of when you skip your stitch in the beginning you can go ahead and start your stitch in that next one instead of um, making a single crochet in the first one and then making your bean stitch so that's what she looks like i think it looks great with um a thick yarn because it comes out very it comes out really nice it's very nice and textured so let's go to the other row and I always ask you to stay to the second row because sometimes there's certain places that you have to put your hook that'll make it come out right with this bean stitch um and i was learning it i noticed that you have to put your hook into a certain space because if you don't then you'll have a gap in there so i'm going to show you how to fix that well how to do that without having your gap so go ahead and yarn over and make your chain and go ahead and turn And in your first stitch, naturally, it's going to be a single crochet. And now there's a space in between. There's actually two spaces in between those stitches. So there's the one, this is where you made your stitch, and then you chain one and you came over. So we're going to go right here into this stitch. If you put your stitch over here, it will leave a bit of a gap. So you want to put it right next to that other bean stitch from the previous row so let's go ahead in and put it right into that stitch there yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over go back into the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and go back into the stitch and yarn over and pull up a loop oops Oopsie, come on, go through, babies. Go through, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. Okay, I got it. And now chain. Okay, so no more, you don't have to do any more single crochets. All of this is the rest of your pattern. Just go right into your next stitch with that, um, with, your, with your bean, making your bean stitch. And remember to go in three times make sure your yarn is nice and loose you know you can loosen it up a little bit by doing that and then make go back in for the last time and then pull up a loop and go ahead and pull through all of your loops and chain one and just do that all the way across so I'm going to continue making this stitch and I'm going to meet you right over here it's a very pretty stitch so I'm back and I'm getting closer to the end 
I'm on my last bean stitch here and let's go ahead and make the last one remember you're gonna go into that stitch three times that's two this is two and last time three and remember just loosen it up just a little bit and just wiggle your hook and then go ahead and yarn over and go into the stitch <laughs> okay now in the end we're just going to go ahead and make a single crochet into that last stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and that's it that is your bean stitch i think it's such a cute little stitch um i know there's a lot of folks when you look at watch the tutorial it'll they'll tell you what to use it for but me i would probably use this for anything a bag a sweater a scarf so you use it for what you want to use it for it's a cute stitch go ahead and give it a try remember you want to start off with an even number of stitches and then that um, last stitch will be your turning chain and then you continue from there so I want to thank you for watching this tutorial look at that stitch nice texture thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook Instagram and TikTok at Cam Tie Crochet and I will see you in the next tutorial that is coming up have a great day Fly with the stars, sound free Party all day, every weekend Make it boom, boom to the beat Make it boom, boom, boom Boom, boom, boom Fly with the stars, sound free Party all day, every weekend Make it boom, boom to the beat Make it boom, boom, boom Boom, boom, boom I'm glad to be alive, alive, alive Cause I don't want